and Dave Daly right here on the Muskegon Channel. I'm Andy O'Reilly. Dave Cackley's over there. I got a, had an interesting conversation I stumbled into yesterday, and I thought I'd bring it up yeah. today to see uh, where you stand on things. Okay. Um, we were, well, actually, it happened over at TV 13. We were talking All about, right. uh, it, was, it, was, it was me and Patty and uh, Kameny was there, and we were talking about things that beyond gross you out. Okay. For me, like an individual hair or a clump of hair found anywhere, mm-hmm. I, I just, bleh, ugh, immediately. Now, for uh, Patty over there, a fingernail, if she finds a fingernail clipped <laughs> off somewhere, she just she's ready to just barf. Oh, my God. How about God, you? What, really? What, 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 Fingernails don't. I used I would I I will bite my fingernails and I just to gross Max out I'll like put if he's especially during the summer it's great because if he's not wearing a shirt I'll just I'll bite one of my fingernails I'll put it on his shoulder and go, ah! I mean, for for me it it to me it just begins and ends with vomit oh you can't puke, do puke oh god like I had to clean up one time this was a couple of years ago Max got sick in the middle of the night and he's not a puker he's not a kid who gets sick a lot especially right. not throw up sick so. I just, I heard him and he had puked in his bed, in the hallway, in the bag. He didn't even make it to the toilet. He was literally laying on the floor next to vomit. It was oh. disgusting. So I help. I first, I feel bad for him. I get him all taken care of, get him back to bed. And I'm cleaning this stuff up. And I've got, and keep in mind, I've got the no vomit streak going right. back to 1980. And I thought I was going to lose it. I thought I, w- I started having the sweat going. I had, it was right here in my, I'm like, oh my God, this is awful. And I just, I had to lay, after I took care of the sheets and, and cleaned everything up, I had to, I had to lay down and, and get some cold water on my face. And I was just You awful. can't do puke, huh? I can't handle that. Oh, it's, it's the worst. <laughs> Absolute worst. I don't know how anybody, I don't know how that couldn't be number one on anybody's lip. Fingernail, don't care. Uh, you know, Somebody shits up the bathroom. Doesn't bother me. Uh, it's, it, it, nothing. Else. Skunk. To me, I've said this about skunk. The scent of skunk. Yeah. That is the best of the horrible smells. Skunk smell doesn't bother me. I don't know what it, it just is like. Oh, that's bad. But it's not. I don't, I don't care. It doesn't doesn't phase me at all. Parmesan cheese. Disgusting because it smells like vomit or feet. <laughs> it smells like somebody threw up on dirty feet. That's no, you see, if if, if I find a loose like. hair. Oh, I don't know what. See, that's weird. Like, I don't care about that hair. Oh, like a little curl. Oh, okay. Look. No, I mean like a, a hair. A hair, a hair like any a kind hair of hair on the soap, or hair really, in the tub, what, or anything. I, I, I just take the hair off. I, and and in, in all honesty, as much as I love Cindy, I, I I love her. I I take a bullet for her. I would, you you name it, I'd do it. Mm-hmm. Please don't lose a hair. <laughs> I so you you got nowhere in the marital vows to say anything about a lost lost hair. <laughs> the bottom of the so the drain in the bathtub. She's she's you remarkably good at getting those. Yeah. And so every so once every once in a while she forgets. Dig it out. I'll, I'll have to dig it out, and I'll tell you the one thing I can't do at the house. I can't clean the drain out of the sink. Really? Oh my god! Just, I mean, that's gross. Okay, see now that is gross, but to me it's not. It's not vomit inducing like, like vomit the, is. The, the drain trap, like you know, where all the oh, oh, oh. yeah. No, all I, right, yeah. so we grossed uh, each yeah, other. Okay, there we go. So all right, we, now we've got be- now. Just before we started it too, I, I told you I had to show you something because yes, you, oh this yeah, is something, this is something you have to try. All right, go ahead. Because it's something go they ahead. got right. Are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Product endorsement, non paid. Oh, what is it? It's the dark Dr. berry Dr. Pepper. Get you one. Not I'm kidding. Not, I don't really look. I don't if they've got a like. I liked the Dr. Pepper ten, the one that had just ten calories and low sugar. Right. Um. I see that's got to get too much. I love regular Dr. Give me an old school regular Dr. Pepper. I'm good. I'm with telling that. you. You don't need to give me a bunch of other flavors with Dr. Give Dr. this Pepper world is its own flavor. Listen, ketchup on hamburgers. <laughs> give this a try. You're gonna love it. I'll, okay. Okay, yeah, we'll see. Give it a try. You'll love it. I'll stick with my Coke Zero. Of course. All right. We ready? Now that my whistle is wet. Would you just ready? go? 
Okay, let's do it. Right. War of words continues between President Trump and former VP and current Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden. Trump supported North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's assertion of Biden as a low IQ individual. Biden's campaign blasted Trump, calling the criticism, quote, beneath the dignity of the office. Trump now says he was actually defending Biden because he paraphrased uh, Kim Jong-un when he called uh, Biden a low uh, income or, or a low IQ individual, he because uh, Un actually called him a low IQ idiot. So, so Trump softened it. Isn't he individual. great? But oh. I mean, yeah, is it beneath the dignity of office? Yes. But this is this is this is on personality for Trump. This is totally he is staying in character. And well, I mean, what do you expect? Biden, though, I got to give Biden a lot of credit because Joe Biden is kind of that's how you respond. You say, you know what? That comments beneath the dignity of the office. And then you move on. You don't you don't engage. Do not no. engage. No. Pull back and just continue doing your stump spe- speeches. Don't say anything provocative. Don't have a lot of ideas. Just just be you. And you can actually win this thing. So I, I think he's, he's, that's the way he's looking at it. And he's, he's playing it smart. Trump is staying on point, And he knows that Biden is going to be who he's going to match up with. Forget everybody else. It's going to come down to Joe and, and Trump, the geriatric uh, slugfest. And uh, it should be fun. But in, in the meantime, Joe's, Joe's being smart. Just don't engage. Step back. Uh, Moving on, Pizza Hut is remaking its original pan pizza. The company announced on Tuesday that the new pan pizza will include a new cheese blend sauce and a a newly engineered pan for a crispier crust. For the first time last year, Domino's actually had more sales than Pizza Hut. Look, both suck. Pizza Hut sucks. Domino's sucks. I like Jets. If you're going to go chain pizza, go Jets. Papa John's isn't bad. I like Papa John's, but the crust is a little too thick. I like the thin crust. Uh, Max and I get in arguments over that because he likes the traditional crust. I'm more of a thin crust guy. Uh, and Jets, to me, is is vastly superior to any other pizza chain. It's And it's not close. Not even close. What say, what say Andy O? Well, we're Jets fans here. Uh, yeah. We like Bellasinos in North Muskegon. Okay. Um, see, yeah, you, the, the local places are good. Yeah, are, like, are the uh, let's see what's another good pizza out there. Um, Tony's over here in Roosevelt Park has is, is, is got okay. a good pie. Um in fact, uh, back where it was like New Year's Eve down at the Lumberjacks, they delivered a bunch of pizzas, and you know, and, and you know, I don't have the best guts in the world anymore. Mm-hmm. No. So generally, if I eat pizza, it's either pizza with just vegetables on it or just cheese. Oh, okay. Because you know the 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 sausage and all that stuff just kind of tears me up. But I open up this one pizza box, and it's a pizza with everything. I mean everything. And you dug in. And, dude, I'm like, care to the wind. I don't care. Right. I'm going to pay for this for three days. That pizza and I are having a go around. Oh, nice. I think I wiped out about three quarters of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, Good it's, it's like, you. okay, so it's the last day of the year. Gluttony I can get out of. You know, I can make a new year's resolution tomorrow that I won't gluttonize myself again on a pizza. And there you go. So far, so good. Yeah. Little Caesar, Little Caesars is another one of those places. I just can't. Uh, remember you know, when Little Caesars used to be good? Domino's oh used to be good. When we, we were kids, we'd good. go up to Cadillac to this little cottage rental place called Pioneer Village. Mm-hmm. And just outside of there, they had a Little Caesars pizza place. Dude, yeah. you could oh, was, not get a better great. pizza. Little Caesars used to be the best. You couldn't get a better pizza. It was the best. And now it's dog ass. It's just awful. I'll tell you this, though. If if you know what to get when you go to Little Caesars, you can do okay. Oh, see, if, but if see, you get an, me. if you get an Italian cheese bread with um, some of that sauce for dippings, that's good. That's really good. Hungry if you Hell get crazy bread too. with sauce, yeah. that's good. Okay, that's really good. Um, but here's the thing: is you're you're just making the Little Caesars edible. You're not actually making it good. Little Caesars used to be great, used to be top notch as far as chain pizzas go, and now it's just terrible. Yeah. And you can give me the five dollars, five dollars, all you know. If I'm eating five dollars worth of shit, I don't care. Hey, it's watch the language five, yeah. twice this time. Oh, shut up! You and your terrible on, potty I, mouth. You kiss no, your kids I'm with just, that mouth. 
why do you have to derail the conversation with that? Anyway, it's just Little Caesars is awful, yeah. and uh, f- you're, it's it's a waste of five dollars. Anyway, did you ever notice though in his in his little uh, toga where they've got the accoutrements along his toga? They, yeah. It says LC. Uh huh. You never noticed that. Yeah, I, I did notice that. Yeah. Actually, I didn't. I'm lying. I didn't. Yeah. I don't know why I lied just then. Well, pay clo- pay closer attention next time. Uh, oh, Andy was right. Well, yeah. Why why would I pay? closer attention to a pizza i'm not going to ever order again because i told you to oh, no i'm not i just i can't see that i can't that's the hand, i haven't that's tried the domino's down on you i haven't tried domino since domino's uh uh refurbished everything but mm-hmm. the last time i had domino's it was god awful too so mm, okay and, and once again i remember in the early 90s loving domino's loving little caesars and now they're just deplorable so okay anyway Moving on, the uh, challenge of local veterans living their post-military lives will be the focus of a conference in downtown Muskegon. The second annual Recon Veterans Resilience Conference will take place Thursday at the Froenthal Conference runs from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And good for them, you know, yep. you're shining a light on something that needs to be shown uh, with uh, military. It's, it's got to be hard. You go, you're, you're living that life, you're living the combat life, and then you come home to civilization and you know how do you handle that? That's well, really got to be a, a difficult experience. I can't even imagine what they go through. No. Nope. And uh, and uh, this conference just it, it ch- definitely check it out. If you got somebody who's in the military or friends with somebody in the military or and they're trying to transition uh, yeah. back into civilian life, uh, definitely something you want to uh, be a part of. Yep. Anyway, sports Tigers beat Baltimore three to nothing. They're now just. 12 games under 500. Why? Why even bother with Detroit baseball? Why bother? I got well, friends who, the wife like, likes it. who now have just who have just decided, you know what? And I, wait till they get good and, and then jump on the bandwagon. And it's a waste of time. Let me tell you something about Tiger baseball. It is infinitely better without Mario and Rod sitting there trying to call games. I love having Matt Shepard in there calling games. He is well, so Shepard's good at good. it. I think, Matt Shepard is very good. I'll tell you something else about Matt Shepard. He's not just a good play-by-play guy. He's a great sportscaster, period. I mean, that yes, guy knows his yes. stuff. I will say this. Now, I'm a big-time Michigan State fan. Yep. Matt Shepard's play-by-play of Michigan basketball far exceeds Michigan State. Okay. I mean, it is a – he is – yeah, he is phenomenal. And let me tell you another addition to that that broadcast team that's phenomenal is Dan Petrie. He is really? a great a, okay. analyst. I love his tone. I love I love the way yeah. he talks. I love his outlook on things. Mm-hmm. I it's it what a what a difference a year makes and getting rid of Mario and Rod. I'm sure so you're, you're, as individuals they were great people, you know, as but as a team. And, and you know, this is something that not everybody can probably recognize like you and I can. Yeah. But I I could hear the tension in their voices when they worked together. I could hear the animosity between the two of them. It's like this is just you guys right. hate each you, other so much. You hate, I, yep. You're you're killing the game. You're killing me, Smalls. You you, know? you want to you want to whether you're listening to a game or watching it, you want to feel like you're watching it with some buddies or right. guys who are you know you don't want to you, you don't like there to be any tension. It's like having two groups of friends that don't get along. Right. And, and you're anywhere. It's just a pain. It's just it just it it lessens the experience. There you go. Thank you. So. All right. Comes lose, comes lose, comes lose. They fall to Houston 9 to 6. That's sports. Enjoy your Wednesday and we'll see you back here tomorrow. And okay. by the way, yeah. Go try your Dr Pepper. Still got to finish Dark this. Berry. Got a little Coke Zero left. There you go.